There's a lot we still don't know about the two brothers suspected of bombing the Boston Marathon. We don't know their motives or their politics. They are ethnically Chechen, but we're not sure where they came here from. Maybe a region neighboring Chechnya called Dagestan, or maybe a Central Asian country near Afghanistan called Kyrgyzstan. That is obscure enough, our own Secretary of State didn't get its name right. They support the rule of law in Burma. They support democratic institutions in Kyrgyzstan and Georgia. Kyrgyzstan is the country Kerry should have said. So we figured if John Kerry can get this stuff confused, the rest of us might benefit from a refresher on why so much has been made of the Chechen roots of the brothers and why those roots raised so many red flags in counterterrorism circles. If Chechnya were a U.S. state, it would be the fourth smallest, but packed into a little pocket of southwest Russia is a history of war, repression, and rebellion. There have been two explosions on Moscow's underground metro system. <laughs> A little more than 200 years ago, Russia first went to war over Chechnya. Conflict continued through the 1850s when Leo Tolstoy first made a name for himself writing about Chechens and their feelings towards Russian soldiers. He wrote, It was not hatred, for they did not regard those Russian dogs as human beings, but it was such repulsion, disgust, and perplexity at the senseless cruelty of these creatures that the desire to exterminate them was as natural an instinct as that of self-preservation. The phrase sent to Siberia has Chechen roots as well. At the end of World War II, the entire Chechen population, hundreds of thousands of people, was literally shipped to Siberia by Stalin in a move that was later described by the European Parliament as genocide. By the late 50s, Chechens had returned to their homeland under the grip of central Russian control. But as the Soviet Union began to break apart a little over 20 years ago, the Chechens really began agitating to separate from the Russian Federation. And Chechnya did gain some autonomy from a weakened Russia, but only until a brutal war in the mid-90s ended in an uneasy peace. Then, a second war in 1999, this time with more radicalized fighters. The original separatist impulse, which was a political nationalist one on the part of the Chechens, particularly after the Russians crushed it, kind of um, morphed into a radical religious feeling instead, sort of a jihadist feeling. The tactics of Chechen separatists have also shown that character. A Moscow theater siege in 2002, ending in 170 deaths amid a botched rescue. In 2004, a school held hostage and 300 killed, mostly children. In 2010, two women blew themselves up on the Moscow metro, killing 40. In recent years, Ramzan Kadyrov, a kind of strongman leader of Chechnya, has kept a lid on tensions while sometimes drawing criticism from human rights groups. Chechnya actually today is one of the quietest parts in the North Caucasus because he has such a firm grip on the country. But this unrest has spilled out to either side. Just to the east, an area called Dagestan, where extremists have been increasingly active, and the brothers who captured the world's attention today may have, or may not have, grown up.